In that breaking news, we have more updates surrounding the triple shooting from last night on Coster Street in Rochester and what police are calling a murder-suicide. It has been confirmed today the law enforcement officer reportedly responsible for shooting two other women last night. One fatally was a member of the Greece Police Department. News 8's Isabel Garcia joins us live now from the Public Safety Building in downtown Rochester to break down what we know so far about this incident. Isabel. Yes, good evening to both of you. That officer has since been identified as 29-year-old Tiffany Gatson, who police say died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound after shooting the other two women. Now, RPD also identified the victim fatally shot as 27-year-old Angeli Solis. Now, the other victim who did survive is currently recu recuperating at Strong Hospital and is not being named at this time. Police tell us that this shooting resulted from a domestic altercation. Greece police also issuing a statement this afternoon expressing collective sorrow and grief. Now, according to the statement, Officer Gatson had been with the department since September of 2018, having recently been assigned to the road patrol afternoon shift. They also clarify Gatson was off duty at the time of the shooting. And that statement goes on to say, quote, unfortunately, we have seen events of this nature occur all too frequently and struggle to find answers in the aftermath. The effects are far reaching from those who have lost loved ones to others throughout law enforcement organizations when a police officer commits such a horrible act to our entire community, end quote. And as you saw in some of that video there, a small memorial has been set up at the location of the shooting where this tragedy occurred. And of course, we will continue to keep you updated with further developments as new information becomes available. And we will bring you those updates both on air and online. For now, though, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Reporting live in Rochester, Isabel Garcia, News 8. All right, Isabel, thank you for that update. The Attorney General's office is the lead investigating agency in this case.